So yes, there is a new STI I want you to know about. Um, this is Mycoplasma genitalium. We have only known about this guy since the 1980s. It's a tiny little bacteria, which is actually less common than chlamydia, but more common than gonorrhea. The reason why you've never heard of it is because we've only had an FDA approved test for this since 2019. And uh, giant microbes made this little guy actually just last year. So you know you're a legit STI when they're making a stuffy out of you but it can cause discharge from the penis or the vagina and it can uh, be spread through anal sex or vaginal sex. So even though we find it in people's butts as well, we don't actually know if it's causing any major problems back there, but certainly you can get it if someone has it in their butt. So here's the thing is that about half of these are resistant to at least one antibiotic. So it actually takes two weeks of antibiotics to get rid of this infection um, and that's in the new CDC guidelines that just came out um, last week. But luckily you can get rid of it and then you'll be completely cured, which means you can catch it again. But at any rate, um, you know, barriers like condoms works really, really well at protecting against this. So, um, you know, my advice is that if you end up with discharge that's not getting better with standard treatment, have them test you for mycoplasma genitalium and use barriers if you wanna avoid having this infection.